thank you very much. It uh, means an awful lot. You know, any time that you play a team with the, the legacy and tradition of Mount Union and have a chance to beat them, it says an awful lot about our football team. The really the cool thing about this year and the guys that have followed us all along, you know, there's been some adversity, but we have just kept uh, driving and working. It's been the goal since the beginning of fall camp to get back here and have another shot at Mount Union uh, just because of the way that last year uh, ended. And I think that it, it says an awful lot about these players and the coaches that uh, kept pushing and kept going. Thank you. Coach, does this one mean more because you had to beat Mount Union on the stage that they typically dominated on? Yes, it means more. I think that this obviously means an incredible amount to our program uh, just, just because of the, the sheer uh, uh, tradition that Mount Union, you know, when we started in 98, everything was to try to emulate Mount Union. And obviously, they were the Try to build our program like and trying to do the same things to try to get to this point. And, and you know, and, and I, I'm really proud of the, the top, obviously, the things that, that our players have accomplished uh, through the years. Coach, if you could, you know, with all the challenges you've been through this season, kind of go into that just a little bit. And also, has, has this been the most challenging season, personally and professionally, that you've had in your 21 years at Great Run Bend? You know, I think it has been just simply because of those challenges that we've had and the things that we've had to go through. I don't know that I've ever experienced a week like we did last week when Corey was having a transplant done and, and her uh, mother was torn between coming to a ball game uh, or, or being with her in the hospital and, was, and everything worked out great. The absolute incredible amount of support from you guys and the people, Adam and your article was just tremendous, and I just can't say enough about the response and the prayers and the support that we've gotten in the top and off of the national championship. Not much better. Coach, you guys were down 10 0. What was the message to the team to just keep fighting? You know, we, we, we always felt like that when you get into a game like this and with this much significance, the, the big key thing was to maintain the confidence level that you have. Don't panic. Everything's going to take care of itself. We knew that we could. We felt like we could play with Mac Union. Uh, we just felt like that our team was a team of destiny. Uh, and getting behind, we knew that ultimately we would, we would be back. Coach, uh, over the last five years or so, obviously, you went from a program that had won a lot to one that was winning at the highest highest level. Uh, what do you think has contributed to that change? Well, I think uh, I think a big a contributing factor. The changes of our facilities. I think the stadium and the administration are doing that for us, and, and, and the, the stadium and the facilities are pretty, uh, pretty incredible. And I think that's really uh, been a big key factor. Coach, when you look at it, three stack goals in a row, you've won two of them. Is this, is this how the expectation is to be playing Week 15? You know, I just think that everybody that we started in August and you know, after the loss last year, I think everybody uh, that, and these guys would obviously uh, will talk about it, is that their expectations were to win a national championship. And you know, we would we would beat somebody and have a have a good win, but it wasn't good enough because we we would do things that weren't good enough to, to, to reach the goals and the, have the expectations that we had. It's been incredible uh, for. This team grow and develop the, the maturation of guys that were in a backup row last year all of a sudden become big time players. For us, it's just been awesome. Along those same lines, coach, or for, for any of the players up there, uh, at the beginning of the season, quite frankly, we didn't know who Chase Hammond was, and we <laughs> didn't have. <laughs> How big of a difference did he make in having a different result in Stagno last season? And just over the course of the year, through the ups and downs, I I, I think that he has developed into an incredible competitor, uh, and, and he has took obviously he took over the ownership of the offense, uh, and, and you know he's he's played banged up for the last four weeks. But, I mean he, he came in and he, 
his hip transferred to him, KJ transferred to him, uh, really gave us a shot in the arm. But the thing that is in, that's really incredible is that you, know, you have to develop a you have to develop a chemistry, and, and that's what that's what we accomplish with the leadership that we have on our team. Uh, that's what makes the difference in my opinion. Uh, first, coach, thank you for those kind words. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, Jace and KJ, the newcomers uh, coming in with such a strong senior class, guys that have been there and, and actually played in three straight staples. How helpful was it to have the leadership of the senior captains like you have on this team? Um, I mean, it was an honor to play with those guys because as soon as I came in, they can treat me like family. So, I mean, I just did real fast. And, and it's, it feels great to be here and be able to play with people that love football just as much as you do. Uh, TJ, you know, the third year in a row, uh, you know, did it feel different this year? I mean, from the beginning of the season, just knowing it was your senior year, and, you know, how much the experience of those past two years helped you when you guys fell behind early? Uh, I mean, it, it definitely felt different. Uh, I mean, last year, I didn't even play, I didn't get to play in this game, so, uh, I mean, I just told these guys from the beginning that uh, it's my last game, so uh, if you need me, I'm getting everything I have. And, uh, I, just, I just lost my words. I just, Kind of all sitting in that this, this, like this was my last game, but uh, I mean, it's great to, to go out in time. TJ, they put the ball in your hands one more time. The little pump, what y'all call it, the little fly shovel pass. <laughs> a lot more to you. Wildcat, we hadn't seen that from you, I don't think, since last year. Um, what was your reaction when you saw the game plan and saw that they were going to put a more on your shoulder? Uh, I, I found out that I was going to have to do it whenever I found out what a near injury was. Uh, I mean, I told him from the kicker that I was going to play for him. And, uh, I mean, I told him if we if he didn't score that touchdown last week, we wouldn't be here with all of them. And, uh, I mean, it's just once again, I tell the coaches, if you need me, I, I got you. I, I do whatever it takes to be here. And then regular ones, uh, you all had drilled all year. They scored 10 points, 11 and a half minutes. You're behind. How did y'all keep your voice? I mean, we prepared for this for 15 weeks, and this was our time to come out and perform. And, just flying to the ball and staying on the game plan is what we really prepare for and just try to attack as much as we could. Senior leadership, we have to keep everybody calm and you know, they're just good. I'm not sure if we're supposed to call Jason a dual threat quarterback now with all the run of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, obviously, obviously you guys have been able to you know, throw it around quite a bit this year, but how important was it to get that running game going in a, uh, a bunch of different ways against a team that helped you guys you check that with last year? Well, that's huge. Uh, when you got a back like Mark Keith Miller, you know, teams are going to try to do different things to uh, not let him do what he does. And so we kind of knew coming in that if we had his own read, it would probably take him. It just so happened that, yeah. you know, they just left me open. Our receiver was blocking right down the field. All out of the way. This is this is new right on that. Coach, you tried to run fake once, and uh, they got the ball back. And it looked like you stopped him on fourth down. We got the ball back one more time. Uh, it was it nice, for lack of a better way to put it, to, to, to have to win the game defensively with Jamal and that first down? Uh, <laughs> you killed the I mean, Either way, we would win. I think offense, defense, we would have been prepared for it. But well, I know the defense, so that's against the wall. That's when we perform the best. And you know, that was the uh, uh, first time we went for the win the uh, so, Jason, we spent a lot of time this week talking about how you were battling a shoulder injury, and then you're out there putting your shoulder down with delivery hits. Uh, was part of that just you know, adrenaline and just being the last game of the season? And then for the players, you know, your, your teammates seen him do that, you know, knowing he was banged up and putting it all out there, how much did that fire you guys up to see? You know, I mean, adrenaline definitely helped a little bit uh, tonight, uh, but I kind of told him, you know, it's the last moment, I'm not going to slide, I'm not going to do none of that. I'm going to give you everything I got. So. <laughs> I, I told him to get down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it was nice. It definitely provided a spark. Uh, first time he did it, and then he did it again. So I went up to him and said, hey, uh, let's just chill out. You know, go ahead and get down. Let's go to the next game. Did you call the fake one? I'm sorry. Did you call the fake one from the sideline? Or that the, the, uh, the call was a run kick option. Uh, I think he just felt like he could make it this way. And he, and he came close. Let me say this before we break up. What an incredible crowd, the support, 
what an incredible performance from the people and here in, in, in Shenandoah. It was awesome. The whole week has been a blessing and I just think that it, it was awesome to see Texas support uh, Mary Hart Baylor and be here and it was just an awesome uh, whole week and I just think that the ladies that organized this thing and all the people that put in so much work but it was very well done. TJ, uh, you know you talked about the senior class. This is a senior class that has won two national championships, has been in three straight stag bowls. Uh, you know, do you guys feel like you have left a legacy here at this school? <laughs> Uh, I mean, kind of, because especially with the, the first one to win it, and uh, I mean, we definitely couldn't do it without the guys from the organization before us, and uh, I mean, that's what I mean. If you talk to me throughout this week, uh, that's what I've talked about. Uh, we wouldn't be here in, in the place we are without those guys. So, uh, I mean, it, it's nice to, to kind of say we have left legs, but I mean, we wouldn't be here without those the guys before us. Coach, that uh, block field goal right before the half seemed to create a spark, allowing you to go down and get that touchdown. How big of a boost was that going into the locker room with the lead like that? No, it was it was incredible. I think I think the momentum that when we go into the dressing room was on our side and obviously it, it, it helped hold our confidence level high. So we made a few adjustments and then I came back out and second half. I, I think they made it better. Jason uh, and KJ, can you tell us what you saw in the touchdown for the late looked like uh, Scrambling and they were blitzing at the same time, and you know, when it was high read, you just saw somebody uncovered. Can you tell us what you saw? Yeah, they were trying to sub in and out. I think they subbed someone out, and they brought, brought the uh, like, new quarter. Katie was kind of important. I saw it. We just sub in and out. I think they subbed someone out, and they brought, brought the uh, new quarter. Katie was kind of important. I saw it. We just <laughs> Over here, Reverend. Uh, this one for you. You guys read some defense tonight. Just absolutely tremendous at that first touchdown. How were you guys just able to buckle down and only give up field goals at that point? I think that comes with early on in the season. We're all throughout the season. You know, we were we've been back to the floor and just relying on our game plan and matching with everybody. But that's really what we need to do. Just matching with everybody. Gives the football trying to make the play. And I think throughout the whole season, we've done that all, all year, so I think we're back it up pretty well. I have a question for you, too, Ray. Uh, you know, early on in the game, the first quarter, you know, both teams, I think, were missing tackles, which is uncharacteristic. Is part of that just being in the stag bowl? Is part of that playing against the best team you faced all year? And then how much of the experience of having faced them before help you guys settle down? I think early off in the game, when you miss tackles, I just know I missed a few. Uh, I mean, it's just the nerves and excitement that we learned to just calm it down. We've been against my team before, and I finally settled down. Everybody finally settled down and started making tackles. Coach, there are only two other programs in the 2000s to win more than multiple national championships, uh, and those are the two teams that you beat in Wisconsin Whitewater and, of course, Mount Union. Uh, do you feel like Mary Harden Baylor now is emerging, becoming one of those programs? It was obviously the goal. We started in 1998, uh, not only from uh, the coaches, uh, all the coaches, but uh, Dr. Jerry Bockham, who uh, was the president that hired me, Dr. Randy O'Rear, all of them have done an incredible job of helping us build a program, a very first class program, and, and obviously the, the, the facilities, the upgrade of all that has been because of the support. I, I just think it goes without saying that I, I think we're right in the midst of anybody it's one of the best programs, um, and obviously it's a commitment from so many people and sacrifice for so many that uh, that has allowed us to do it. So it's been uh, it's been a, a work in progress. Okay. Any uh, further questions? Thank you. Okay. Thank you.